Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. So I am doing my September wrap up and um, I kind of was in a slump-ish. I read I read seven books, uh, which is much fewer than I have done. And I actually didn't read anything like like physical, so yeah. Or I read like ebooks, but I haven't had a physical book, which I think might be my worst plan ever. So yeah. Let's just start. Um, the first book I read was The Horse Whisperer by Nicholas Evan. And I gave these three stars. Uh, we are basically following Grace and she's out riding and she and her best friend is in a, a, a riding accident. So her best friend dies and um, her the horse she's riding named Pilgrim is really badly hurt and so is Grace. And then we are also following Grace's mom, Annie, and she decides that she must do something before her daughter just like Yeah, I don't know what to say, just get disappear as I almost said, because Grace don't have it very okay. So Annie decides that the they will go to this horse whisperer in Montana and get help. So she drags um, Grace and Pilgrim all the way from New York to, I think it's New York, a little bit outside of that. But basically she drags her there to Montana. And there they meet Chum Booker, the horse whisperer. And the story goes from there. So I have to say the reason why this one wasn't like the best. One of them is kind of a spoiler, so I can't talk about it. But I will say this book contains cheating. So yeah. And yeah, I just didn't I kind of don't like any. I really do like Grace and the relationship, like friendship ish with um, the younger son of uh, Tom's brother called Joe. Their relationship is super cute and he, yeah, I mean I could have like another book if anything happened with like Grace and Joe after everything. I don't think it did but uh, I have hopes because they, yeah. I actually have to say I think I like the movie better, which is weird to say, but yeah. Let's get over to the next book. I read Soul Riders, uh, Eurovic Calling by Helena Dahlgren. And basically, if anyone has, has uh, played Star Stable, uh, you get the kind of backstory to everything. Um, I used to play the original game, uh, Starshine Legacy. I do remember that. Uh, when I was younger, I remember that one of these, there were four CDs or like games, and I remember the last one. I think it was the last one I was terrified of. So we were like very small, and we were just like, Dad, can you play this? <laughs> because we. Well, my sister and me was just terrified of doing that. But yeah, uh, I think that it, if you know the story, you definitely know the characters and yeah. So it is a little different, but I will definitely continue on because I really enjoy this. So I didn't explain. Basically, we are following Lisa and she moves to this place called, this island called Jorvik, or Jorvik, and uh, there she meets three other girls, and they are kind of connected, 
they have different kind of powers and they soon need to save your week. So, yeah, really enjoyed it. I loved it. I gave it four stars. I do really enjoy it, but now I do. I think that it's very like young YA. But I also have to say that the reason I think I really like this story this much is because I know the story. I grew up loving this story. So, yeah, but I think that if you do like Star Symbol, you will enjoy this book. I don't know I, if you would like love it if you haven't. You can love it if you have never been like playing Star Stable, but I think you need to have like an interest in this. But yeah, let's get over to the third one that is uh, Strangers Assume My Girlfriend Is My Nurse by Shen, Shane Birdshaw. I loved this. If you have seen. Uh, what are they called? Squirmy and grub Gravel? Something in those lines on YouTube is their channel. And basically, this is kind of the story of Shane and how his life is. And I really loved this. I loved to see how Shane and Hannah like met. And yeah, it's super cute and I really enjoyed it. I'm not going to give it a rating because I don't rate people's life. The next one was Citizens by Claudia Rankine, I think. Basically, this is like poetry. I think it was poetry. Uh, it's basically from this guy's perspective on like... It was like from 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 a black guy's perspective and i i really like this i give it four stars i i haven't like yet found a five star poetry because yeah i really enjoyed it i mean i personally i have to say i don't know what they are going through because obviously um white so i i can't say anything on like how this book were represented but i love this and uh, yeah the next book i read uh, was from a norwegian like influencer ish ex football player called Matt Sansen, and it's mean instagram story or my Instagram story and it's basically about his life uh, from where when he was playing football until now when he is kind of I want to say like critiquing or talking about Norwegian influencers and he, he kind of yeah a lot of people don't like him here in Norway or a lot of influencers don't like him because he is very straightforward. Uh, he basically a lot of Norwegian influencers have this not too much now, but they talk about like surgically things like they have gotten breast implants and a lot of things like that and he is yeah he has talked a lot about that and he's like there and so he's very yeah he's i don't know how i'm going to explain it so what i am trying to say is basically he really puts them in place and kind of says that um they put like plastic surgery in a positive light and um basically um they it kind of says that if you don't take plastic surgery you you are not pretty enough and when you are like 14 15 uh, then 
You shouldn't say that because you are very insecure, if that makes sense. Yeah. You have to be an Norwegian to understand it. Uh, but yeah. The next I read was The Swedish Prince by Corinna Holly. And I gave these three stars. I thought it was okay. Basically, we are following this girl that I don't remember the name of. And uh, basically, she meets this guy uh, that is basically um, is in the hotel. And she likes him, they spend time together, and then she gets to know that he is the Swedish prince. And things go on from there. I didn't like love this it was okay but i just felt like you know when when they uh kind of got together and people knew that he was the prince i just felt like she was very like she i, I felt like she didn't i almost said understand uh, basically she lived in the States, and then I'm like, well, you had to, like, see how they treat celebrities over there, the paparazzi. They, they didn't treat them like that, like any other way in Sweden. And she, I just felt like she, yeah, I don't know what to say. I mean, it's like she didn't understand that it would the paparazzis will be there. So, yeah. That was one thing. There was a lot of things. And it was just okay. I liked it, but it wasn't like a wow kind of moment. The last book I read was Speak by Laurie Halsey Anderson. And I gave it four stars. I enjoyed it. So, basically, this book follows a girl that is, that is, like, written in this cryptic way, let's call it that, where you, you know that something has happened, but you don't know until further into the story. So, yeah, it's basically that we find out why this girl is so depressed and failing at school and how and why yeah it's a very short book i really enjoyed it or i don't yeah let's call it that but yeah i, I don't know what more to say i'm just way too tired to to think so today was a very bad day filming a video but I just had to do it while my parents are gone at work so yeah but that was it for this video I hope you enjoyed this very rambly little video my little, little wrap up but yeah if you like this video give it a thumbs up and if you would like to subscribe the subscribe button is down below along with my social media is down in the description and i will see you next time bye